employment once the coronavirus pandemic ends. Lee Munson, your thoughts. I mean, it is the Fed's rock bottom rates that is partly due to this huge uh, stock market performance. Oh, absolutely. So for me, what I want to do instead of chasing Tesla or worrying about the NASDAQ, I want to use that knowledge that the Fed's going to keep rates near zero. They've said through late 2022. And I don't think anybody's really uh, contesting that right now. Uh, I love the mortgage REIT sector. It's about 30 names. You can buy in a little basket. There's an ETF called REM, kind of a cool ticker. And here's what's going on with these mortgage REITs. They have a low cost of funding right now for the next couple of years. The volatility in, in bond markets is also dead and left for dead. And so their cost of uh, you know hedging, their interest rate swaps, those are lower. These are companies, all 30 of them, you know, you're getting a yield of 12% that's after all of the cuts to the dividends, after all of the reductions to the dividends of those mortgage REITs. They're only getting better, Maria. Their book value is only going to increase. They only have a tailwind beneath their sales. So if you're looking for something that's not Tesla, you're looking for a little extra yield, and you're looking for something where the book value actually is going to be rising for the next few years, and what's best? They're still down 40% for the year. The same thing with the oil markets in the you know, infrastructure MLPs mm. also yielding 12%. So there's a lot of great stuff that's super cheap, that's taking advantage of this cheap money, but it's been overlooked because you know it's not one of these favorites by the young Robin Hood trader crowds, and it's not a hot thing like Tesla. But if you can compound at 10 or 12% for a few years on something that is super cheap, like let's go for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great point. And, and, and you're right. There's value is being overlooked by all the headlines in growth. Bryn Talkington, Rebecca Walser and Lee Munson, it's great to see you this morning. Thank you so much for the word on Wall Street. Much